words of Christ the way you've never spoken oh, about. Whether they understand or not. When you get a chance and someone listens to you, whatever you do, portray Christ. Some people God has given them grace He has been making you rotate to various positions Some places you call them failing But God says it is grace to go introducing you and giving you various platforms but the more God has introduced you to various places the more you failed but when you induce the gospel of peace in your feet even the people will come into your position after you they will not do the way you did the reason is you dedicated yourself to bear fruits wherever you've sat they don't know the gospel of football about you or oh, a political one or oh, the gospel of just nudity but just the gospel of the kingdom of God the little you've known about Christ is what you ought to speak the more you introduce him the more he's going to introduce yourself all the people you admire and you say that God you've given that man grace whatever you admire is just above you by one thing he just decided to portray and lift up Jesus but he said when I'm lifted I'll just bring many to my side. You among us, those ones God wants to bring close, to bring them from the world of failure, from the world of shame, from the clans which failed, and then introduces you like this. The more our brethren have lifted Jesus, God has introduced them. I so much like and enjoy Pastor Bugembe singing. But one of the things which makes me like the songs of Pastor Bugembe those songs Lord I want to know you you feel the songs that they are introducing and portraying Jesus his songs have the ingredient of Christ if you don't see sit upon Jesus, Bono Jesus will yes, sit yes, upon yes, you. Yes, when you lift up Jesus, Jesus will lift you up. There are people God has made famous because they lifted Jesus. You've spent a long time in salvation. You failed to get this weapon. And you failed to bear this fruit. You remain being despised and mocked. Till your clan members will say that that one is a born Again. He cannot come in He doesn't do such. He just don't wash the dead bodies. That one doesn't dig up the graves. That one doesn't go to the funeral. Some people disturb us. Pastor, should I go for this funeral right or not? Should I go and do it or not? If, even though you just say that don't go but he cannot deny to go because those people don't know he is salvation the day you begin to portray and introduce Jesus they will say that leave it because even the born again has come those people should be just anxious because of our Jesus Time has come for people to hide alcohol because you've reached. People to cast away their pipes because the born again has reached. Who is that one who has beheld that weapon? I want you to speak about Jesus the way you never have done it. What hurts is this? The church is filled up. With, the more it was in the 80s. 
but the born again. They preach more about their pastors and churches more than Christ. It is easy to know the pastor of someone more than the Christ. He has. They preach about their pastors and the churches. And even those ones with the platforms on the radio, they are now just carrying. But when we came to the Inaman conference, there is going to be a difference. And so you as come in this conference, you're gonna make a difference. You're going to portray the glory of Christ Jesus Christ. Whether they hate you, they let them hate you. Let them despise you if so. But introduce Jesus. One day come, he will introduce the, the way he did to me. I'm just happy so that we may pray for our lives. Is there somebody following me? And in addition to all this, take up the shield of faith with which you can extinguish all the flaming arrows of the evil one. I pray to God who is still living. Let everyone do what is upon his or her heart. Among us, the many words I heard from the Bishop Senfuma speaking, he struck me with this word. Do what you feel upon your heart. Here outside you want to do something pretending people not to understand you. But when he brings it back that do what you feel upon your heart. When you don't do it you will not have peace. But if you want peace you, you just need to believe to do what you feel. It. If you believe it and you do it and obey it Afterwards, you feel the peace coming back to you. We are in a service. In 97. We are seated in a service. Just seated in the same seats. A preacher was from Kenya. Came to the platform. After reaching the platform, I was seated in the seat. He was dressed in a blue coat and even a striped suit. And a voice told me, Give him your suit. And my suit was a monument for my wedding. I loved it so much. Ever since the man began preaching, I lost the peace. And I told him that, Pastor, I feel the voice telling me that my suit, I should give it to this pastor. He looked at me and told me, mm, Do what you feel upon your heart. Do what you feel upon your heart. And he took back the eyes to the preacher. He could have helped me and say that, hey, first way to give it to you. He just pushed me into the fire. But the only way I could get peace is to get the suit and give it to the man. Those days I used to reside in Kasubi. Immediately after the sermon, I sent someone to go and bring it. And Brother Kato had it. As they were taking the preacher in a taxi, the suit came. And I gave it to the man. And the heart was quenched down. I believed God. People, I believed God. And when I believed God, I felt peace upon my heart. My salvation journey. What I've seen is one thing. Is when I've been obeying God's voice. Day by day. But the pain I've had in salvation is to disobey the voice in the heart. What do they call believing God? Is believing the secret voice in you. When your wife has not heard it, when your brother has not heard it, when your pastor has not heard it, your boss has never heard it, your children have not heard it. 
Even the one you think he understands you must hasn't heard, but you hear it and you obey it. The more you obey the voice of your heart, you've believed God. Abraham believed God and it was counted upon him of righteousness. When he decided to give up his only son, even his wife not know and not even inquire, the more you obey the voice of your heart, the more you're going to live in a life of victory. Even the arrows which the enemy wanted to shoot at you, they'll just find a shield of faith and they'll just be going back. They will just be hitting on that shield when they cannot overcome you. If you want to be among the failures, just see. Make your heart stiff. A certain lady came to Pastor Sainfuman. She had her pig. It was grown up and it it was was But uh, when it was about to give birth, a lady came and told Pastor, that's Pastor, children are torturing me and they want taking care of me when I rear those animals when I sell them I just bring more but it is going to give birth and it gives birth to a number of them now when this pig just gives birth she gave up the calculation the pastor had to tell her that first wait for it to give birth and then give it out then you rare these remaining ones but when the lady was giving birth to the pig she was just waiting for it to give birth and it gave birth but the pig did not give birth she gave up the thought to the pastor she thought that the pastor was on her side he told her do what you feel upon your heart he makes the voice bold do what you feel upon your heart. He doesn't delone it. It's as if he had pierced an arrow at her. I'll ask her the story I don't know whether the pig died or what happened. I don't know. But perhaps she feared to give it away. Say amen. That even have the helmet of salvation and the sword of the spirit, which is the word of God, and take the helmet of salvation. I don't know why the heart is paying me to but I feel the wrath of God. We ourselves, what we have, we don't know. We speak about the good in salvation, but we fail to love the salvation. Tell me and understand this and I think we love the salvation what is therein we love God we love godly things but we don't love God we love what is in salvation but not loving salvation the problem is here we've not yet lifted up the name of Jesus the way we ought to do it we in salvation our attires don't make us to be saved it is not that after putting on a t-shirt with great words to know that you're saved not to put on a white hanky and white attires to know that you're born again. No. What you do portray you as a born again. When one is a midis, very many people and puts on a cap. They say that very many people are there but there is also one Muslim. Because this cap distinguishes him. But for us our helmet is to confess the name of Jesus. The way how they distinguish you from others is to hear someone exalting Jesus. That praise be to the name of our Lord Jesus. That the name of Jesus let it be praised. You don't need to 
explain a lot that I'm born again. But just only confessing that. But today it can amaze you. That word, the glory which people fall in that, These these days it is not what is given. These days they say. Praise. Amen. 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 Is he good? Because what is true that he's born again? Amen, amen. Amen, amen. Praise be to him. Is he good? Praise be to him. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Hallelujah, But time has come. You, the ones I'm giving you, the where you are from, where you reside, where you are. Start thinking Jesus in the audience. The other ones are no longer ashamed. You may be even in your conversation and they speak about a name. And they speak about Muhammad and they say that grace and peace be upon him. They exalt the name so much. But not any other name was given to us other than the name of Jesus. We want to lift the name of Jesus more than anything else. Don't give excuses of saying that praise be to him. That's uh, mm, praise God. Who is God? There are very many goods. We have very many loads here. There are very many loads. But we have the King of Kings, the Lord of Lords. That one, we even confess the name. For me, I speak to someone else who is saying that, let me put and lift up Jesus. That from today, when they ask me, the helmet of my salvation, it must be on the head. When someone greets me, that praise be to the name of our Lord Jesus. And I say, let our Jesus be exalted. Speak it whether their heart let them be heart. Speak it whether it has the energy. Whenever, whenever, whenever there are challenges, I beseech you. Let us serve Jesus. Time has come to pass. The Lord to distinguish the ones on His side and the ones on other things. Let me wind up the gospel and we pray. I'm giving you all this to give you prayer. He has said that don't leave behind the sword of the Spirit. The church has gotten problems because it has dropped the Bible down. In the church, we are just getting words, but not the word. Because even the people we are pastoring, they don't read the word. Someone brings one statement and just confuses the entire church. If he gets people to clap hands unto him, people have even brought topics which don't build up. One is telling you the anointings, hearing the rings, and all those folly things. Time has come to reach. If you're praying from a certain church, read yourself the word, cling on the word, enjoy the word, God is with you in Jesus' name. I want you to cling on the word. Read your Bible as though you're reading an agreement. Read the Bible as though you're reading your constitution. As though you're reading your own will. Read the Bible as you're reading your own letter. Read the Bible as though you're reading your own WhatsApp. Whichever verse you find, it is as though it is a message on WhatsApp. Read the Bible more than you would read any other thing. When you're fed up of me, don't say amen, but say amen.
Listen to this word. If I told the Lord helps you, all these things I've spoken about, you'll be in position to hold them in prayer. You cannot do anything and you enjoy it unless you hold it in prayer. The enemy has been dropping down our spiritual flowers Because we so much yearn But we are not ready to pay the price To reach to the yearning of our hearts The things I've given you in a package If you start putting them into action The divine power It is going to come forth from there And you start bearing and you are in fruits the Holy Spirit is the spray which is going to spread the pest upon you to destroy those fruits. You cling on the truth, preach the gospel, cling on the righteousness, be diligent in reading the word and preaching the gospel. Take these scriptures. Titus 1 15. Write them so quickly. And I wind up my sermon. Is there somebody who will pray for his or her life? Verse 15, he has said like this. I'm reading verse 15 and 16. Aha. Eri abalongofu byonna bilongofu na ye abasigibwa obugwagwa nabatakiriza eri abo tewali bulongofu na ya magezi gabwe era nemyoyo nemyoyo byasigibwa obugwagwa byasigibwa obugwagwa batula nga bamanyi katonda na ye mu bikolwa byawe bamwegana kubanga bagwagwa era abataulira Era abata abata mubuli chikorwacho na echirunji. Titus one fifteen to sixteen. To the pure, all things are pure. But to those who are corrupted and do not believe, nothing is pure. In fact, both their minds and consciousness are corrupted. Verse sixteen. They claim to know God, but by their actions they deny Him. They are detestable, disobedient, and unfit for doing anything. Good. Here in confessing there is no Christ. But when it comes to the actions, the exact actions they do, they portray that they deny him. Because in their actions there is no any good. They are born again in words. But there are people who don't believe in actions. Chapter 2, verse 10. Befeso. Ephesians. Befeso sura, Ephesians 2, 10. Kubanga fetuli muli mugwe. Abato onderu wa mkulisto yesu. Orwebi korwebi ronji. Katonda biya soka. Okuteka teka fe. Okubita ambuliramu. Ephesians 2, 10. For we are God's workmanship. Created in Christ Jesus. To do good works. Which God prepared in advance for us to do. For... For we are his workmanship. Created in Christ Jesus. To do good works. Katonda biyasoko kute kate kafu kutambulidangam. Which God prepared in advance for us to do. When we got born again. That we were created in Christ Jesus. When we were in the world. We were other things. The acts of the flesh. We are moving with them. When we got born again. We are created in Jesus Christ. When we ought to bear good things, move in good deeds. And they were prepared for us in advance. That is what Galatians portrays in 5 23. 
In Ephesians also in 6 14, They are prepared for us in advance to walk in That is why he has said here Revelations Verse chapter 19 Verse 7 to 9 7 to 9 Tujaguze Tusanyuke Tujaguze Tumwe Echitiwa ye Kumango bugole mwomu wana gwendiga Butu use Nemu kazi we yete setese Na webuwa Okwa mbala bafuta Entukuvu Enunji Kumanga bafuta eno Biebiko lebi obutu ukirivu Ebi haba tukuvu <laughs> Revelations 19.7 let us rejoice and be glad and give him glory. Mm -hmm. For the wedding of the Lamb has come, and his bride has made herself ready. Fine linen, bright and clean, was given to her to wear. Fine linen stands for the righteous acts of the saints. Nangamanti, wandi kanti, bawere duwa mukisa, abaye tiwa kumbaga, eyobu gore, buomu wana gwendiga. Nangamanti, ebyo, biebi gambo, ebyo amazima, ebyo akatonda. Verse 9, the angel said to me, write, blessed are those who are invited to the wedding supper of the Lamb. And he added, these are the true words of God. What I wanted to tell you, that this journey we are moving, his strength is on one who dedicated himself to do good deeds. The good deeds. That is Galatians 5:22 to 23. Other acts which are good. Ephesians 6:14 to 17. If you believe and you're seated here, I've given you a mirror. Go and you see yourself there. Whatever you read there, when you feel it has not yet worked in your life, God demands the fruit of that, and you can bear it. Go and consider the things I've told you. And you will sit on your victory if you sit upon But whoever wants to go to heaven has to put on this garment of good deeds. And this good attire this garment is knitted in the attires which are in Galatians 5 22 to 23 and Ephesians 6 14 to 17. Because this garment, they are the righteous deeds for the saints. Acts. It is a garment. I want you to stand up on your feet. And you help me pray for your life. We are remaining with just a little time. A man of God is going to be declaring the blessing of God upon your life. But the blessing is going to reside upon those ones who have decided to walk in the grace of God. The last verse I'm sowing unto you is here is in the book of Acts chapter 10 1037 where it says 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 where it how God anointed Jesus of Nazareth with the Holy Spirit and power and how he went around doing good and healing all who were under the power of the devil. Yes, God was was him. Did God did Jesus bear fruits? Yes, did Jesus bear fruits? Was he having the spiritual witness? Did he do good deeds? Do you believe Jesus? Will you bear fruits?
Will you have spiritual weapons? Will you do the good deeds? I'm here also standing here to tell you that 2018 is yours. You are decided to do the good deeds. When you move doing good things, when you get ashamed, you'll come back. When you decide to do good things, when you reach victory, you testify about Jesus wherever you go. We are going to pray for ourselves. Munangi pamba tira yesu yesu
Ida sasa wao kolo burundi, afuno kulumbi wa, omuntu wa tani koko yaya na, ingi chesa moyo, zikia simuzunga koko, omuntu wa sala wao kolo burundi, asoka na afuna ataka, sitania tani koko kwa jiso kuyaya na kumti magwe, na yebo amani ni damu damu yeye, na ngamba chini sasa wao, ingi chini basi na zunga, ba amani ni damu ati, ingi chikoza ni zungira, ebiari ebi muri, okwani okuyaya na, kufuke mbala, hai katondo wa man. Amasogamu kama gatambula, 
Hilo wamba fta Muka mutu wamba ze jambalo Hete chiwagamba Choko na wo Okutuwa le kanisa Hete rinapala Ni wangu wa doru finyiro Haika tonda wetisa Heli mutu wade tubikola buru unji Na yebi mubi wadebi hatulema Heli mutu wade tubikola buru unji Na yebi na nabi wadebi hagana Ni wadu wakume sana teina wekoma Na isa ya teina chigirema Kusamukola. Nyoro wa bero, sitani zimu sanze. Tuge na kutambuli na mazima. Nyoro wa sitani zimu sanze. Tuge na kutambuli na mazima. Sitani zimu sanze. Tuge na kubuli na injiri. Sitani zimu sanze. Abanda tuge na kutambuli na mumu tukiri. Sitani zimu sanze. Tuge na kusako sepeo. Sitani zimu sanze. Tuge na kutamu kwa tu la Yesu. Ndaba tutamu tu la ngako. Tuge na kwa tu la Yesu. Nese kwa tu Wilson. Tuge na kwa tu la Yesu. Nese ya tuge na Kumunyanya, tugenda kwa ndula Yesu Kama tuwa liye unya Kama kante siyo nero kose Kumanga kama tuwa genda kwa ndula Yesu Kama bata mwa tulanga Kama anga tugenda kusoma Bible Kate wacha ya tuzanyisa Kumanga ya milo mituse Fokula nechiki wachamu kama Haika tonda we mirembe Weya ulile jemuche Weya ulile kwanga mkwanga Weya ulile mbulembe mbulembe Weya ulile kanisa mkanisa Weya ulile mbuntu mbuntu Haika tonda Na waluo chokola, te wali hao kuziza Kwe mukama te wali hao kuziza Kwe katona te wali hao kuziza Waluo chokola, etilo choro alero Mukama waluo chokola, etilo choro alero Waluo chiseche nda ulo, etilo choro alero Waluo kutesa kwa mukama, etilo choro alero Waluo hao kuzza, etilo choro alero Waluo agata kumuendo, etilo choro alero Waluo chika banga wo, etilo choro alero Waluo kuzimo mungia, mulingi Nyari ya chita fi, no mwana no moyo wa mtu kufu Tini ide mwanya kwa moyo wa mtu kufu Mwari nyari ya chita fi, no mwana no moyo wa mtu kufu O kwa nganga manya geti sikiza No kwa nganga vila wose bibi No kwa nganga vise bibi Abange, tulumba gana Tulumba gana ezi menele zivi o moyo Tulumba gana, tulumba gana ezi luka zivi o moyo Tulumba gana, ezi luka zivi o moyo Ebi ebi kene ebi ebi pakura mwoma fi Ebi kore ebi talibi abu chukirifu Ebi sire ebi ejejo Molinha de Aiesu, ele correu e o moviri. Molinha de Aiesu, ele correu e o moviri. Tu virou um bagano ou arero. Ele me viu correr e eu cobrava o meu pé. Ele me olhou de onde eu vim e ele me olhou de onde eu vim na cu. Tu te mala mo aman, o mo eu gobo cau, o mo eu gobo sum, o mo eu gobo gambo, o mo eu gobo cara, o mo eu gobo enzi, o mo eu gobo moviri. Tu virou um bagano ou arero. Ele te deu com a tona, o mululu, o mululu. Mokufu mano kuyomanga, mokuwe mula nensoni. Tena tuli kolo koke la ko, kuli nyari ya Yesu. Amani yangu chizizi, amani yangu chizizi. Tuli amani kwa wale, kuli chuo kana no kwa kana kwa kato. Kuli chuo kana na magazi kwa kato. Kuli chuo kana na magazi kwa kato. Kuli chuo kana no kwa kana kwa kato. Kuli chizizi zama magazi kwa kato. Kuli chizizi zama tima kwa kato. Chokolo kutuze marega Mukama tumia chikamba kyo kutuwanya Kwe ya mburula 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 Nituwa fana nyaba jajafi Nituwa fana nyaba segafi Nituwa fana nyaba tatalafi Nituwa fana kanyale chika Tumikolo kukena kwa wale Mwini nari ya yesu Amani Amani ya Amanya gomu yinike Omoyo gomu bi Elio kwe chawa Elio kwe tamo Tumikolo kukela kwa Mulinya ya yosu Omoyo katona Amanya kati yinana Emiseji tiyinana Evi tuonona Omoyo tambula na katona Evi tuonona Omoyo kwa 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 Evi tutambuza Evi tuta kumukama Tumikolo kukela kwa Mulinya ya yosu Omoyo zale somoyo katona Ayi kwe nsoji Ayi kwe mswamu Ayi kwe chimi Tukumara muamara Ayi kwe mtimelelezi Ayi kwe mtimelelezi Ayi kwe nziru kaze Tu kwe jako wa alero Heli kule mitalibi ya mtukiri Heli kule mitalibi ya mtukiri Heli kule mitalibi ya mtukiri Heli kule mtalibi ya mtukiri Heli kule mtalibi ya mtukiri Tu kwe jako wa alero 